Today we're flying out the Mosquito, and this thing, I'm gonna warn you in advance, this thing's stock is one of the worst planes I've ever touched. And you can see it's stock right here. Granted, I'm damaged, I have one engine, and it's already bad to begin with. You get a 2 km spawn, which is all neat and dandy, but even with a 2 km spawn, you meet the enemy on their altitude. Which should give you an idea of how bad this climb rate actually is. Once you're spaded, this thing is actually quite alright, it's not that much of a pain to fly. Just be prepared that this thing's stock is absolute turbo trash. But for you today, I got two full games, Ace and another Ace. Uh, pretty good fight with the FU 1A. And this fight with the 109 F4, I get a pretty good reversal. I neck G a little bit to throw him off, stay on his wing tip so he can't roll into me. Neck G a little bit to get my guns on target. And shoot off eight guns straight into his cockpit. And the firepower of this thing is not that bad. Sure, people like to complain about his Spanos, but having four of them in the nose right next to each other with quite a bit of ammo is actually not that bad and the 7.7s are also actually not that bad believe it or not going at on with a p-39 which is a very very dangerous aircraft to fire phase in this thing but we're at high altitude his engine is pretty doo-doo up here and i had more entry speed so what can i do i just go straight up he has no chance of catching me going up like this i drop my flaps to loop over a little bit faster like at back on the six he realizes a bit too late that I'm right on him, and at this point he's just too slow to do anything. Don't want to use too much of my Hispanos, I set him on fire, use my 7.7 to set another fire, and then I just break off, leave him alone, and he burns up before I even well, pass him. So that's kill number one. And that's how you want to kill those planes. The longer you take, the worse this plane will become. It's not a fighter, it's a heavy fighter, it's not meta. You just have to play your cards right and it will depend on how your game is going to look like sometimes you can dogfight someone sometimes you can't i can give you a, like a guideline for this thing you will just kind of have to do what you feel like is right and at this point i know there's a lot of people on the deck i'm not sure where everyone is but i want to make sure that i can kill these people as fast as i can because i can see that this spitfire needs help there's two people on him and these are two planes that i cannot kill on my own it's just not happening the p29 absolutely hands me my ass so I just go vertical, he doesn't want to follow me, which is good for me. And then I just loop over and get back on the 6. And I can go for the, the 0 or the P-39 here, but the P-39 actually outdoes me at everything. So I go for the P-39. The 0 I at least outrun. He's too busy getting a shot, so I go for the 0, he rolls out of the way. Push him a little bit so he turns as much as possible. He turns back into me, but at this point I'm going about 600. He just came out of a little bit of an engagement, he's not that fast anymore. And I just slowly extend upwards. I don't want to go straight vertical because he will catch me if I do that. And he will stall a lot later than me. Which makes it so that it's almost impossible for me to stall him out like that. So I go in a very gradual climb. He will bleed a lot of speed. He breaks off. I turn back because I see that he breaks off. So I want to put the pressure on him. Because I want to kill him as fast as I can. Take a look at what everyone is doing. Because there's three people in the area. F6F is basically out of the fight and the P29 is going towards someone else. So I'm basically alone with A6N. It's an A6M2 because it's the, the American variant. I can see that from the star and there's the two. Once I got closer, he tried to pitch up for me after I did that zoom climb. He did a 180 and then tried to pitch up after me while already having less energy to begin with. He tries to pull vertical into my loop. He is simply too slow to do that and he just stalls out into my guns. And who do I go for now? Flying over the P-39, see if he wants to pitch up for me, but if he does, he will have his friendly 109E right on his 6, so I doubt he will do that. 109F4 over there, which is alone, and a plane that's also as dangerous as the P-29N. Maybe a little bit more even, depends on who you're asking. But they are basically the same amount of threat as me. See that the P-29 gets set on fire, so I go for the other guy, and he crashes into the ground as well. The guy that's on fire might put it out. But I'm just going to fly away. No need for me to intervene over there. As he already had a guy on a 6 as well. P-29 is dogfighting the Yak-3. P-29 looks to be somewhat damaged. And I think that the P-29 has a worse position here. So the Yak-3 should have him. But at this point I'm not entirely sure. Then he crits him. I see the way that P-29 is behaving. I don't need to kill him either. I'm just going to break off and let this Yak-3 get his kill. People say... He's not on fire. It's not a kill steal. If you see a situation like that and the guy basically has him just leave the guy alone he doesn't need help go kill someone else you're both happy that way go for the f6f he's not very fast he's basically stalling out here going vertical in my face 
He's gonna go head on with someone else. He doesn't really pay attention to me. Just keep shooting him. He's gonna die eventually. Actually killed the guy going head on with him. Not too sure why he committed in that one. But you know it is what it is. Now we're just gonna wrap up the game. I'm just gonna be in a slight climb here. Conserve my energy. I want to have some altitude to move with. Being at low, low altitude in this thing, where you can't even do a split S, kind of limits your options as this thing is not very good in the vertical. And the P61 is an extremely annoying plane to fight in this thing. Roughly the same BR, much better guns, and it has that pesky gunner. And he seems like he's trying to run back to the airfield, which I'm not much of a fan of, but it looks like we're somewhat alone here, maybe another 109. So if I give him some room and don't directly chase him, he might actually turn around and go for me. And he does. Here he comes. I want to dive a little bit to pick up some speed so I can dodge his shots. I don't want to get hit by a and 2s in the sliders. Get out of his guns. Get above him. Careful of that gunner. If that gunner starts shooting, I am basically boned. But, as expected, he wants to go back to his airfield. And I set up my loop in a way that if he were to break off back to the airfield, I'm directly on the 6th. 800 meters away, he's going kind of vertical. Get a lucky one shot with the Hispanos. And that's game. There you have the results. If you care about such a thing. And then we go on to the next game. Which is the fight with the FU-1A. And he played it somewhat right, but he made a pretty big mistake. Which I will point out when it happens. So I'm diving on this FU. I'm going 630 kPa, so I'm going to compress. I want to bring him up to me. He doesn't do so, which is... The alright choice there. He just goes straight. He wants to go defensive. And he starts maneuvering once I dive on him. I can get my guns on here. I get reduced speed warning. I just can't roll with him. And he gets onto my 6. I'm doing a very gradual climb. I wait until I'm about 1.1, 1.2 kilometers away. And I start doing this loop. Shoot an accident there because I touched my mouse button. My mouse wheel. Someone uh, has the one key on it. It shoots MGs. He does the right thing again, he pulls into my roll axis, and then he pitches up after me. And he did this a little bit too fast. If he had waited one or two more loops, he would have probably gotten me. But right now, he doesn't have the energy, nor the distance to really shoot me. So I just put my flaps down, pull back into him, and he is way too slow to do anything. Nice idea there, but you got a little bit too impatient, and it got you killed in the... Here we go, last game. Yak tree, people everywhere. There's a bomber on my left and I'm gonna ignore him because I don't wanna go for anything with gunners because this thing handles damage. Well, not very well. Let's keep it that way. Yak tree is trying to extend away from me. So what do I do? I go a little bit to the left of him. So if I turn in, I start up firmly behind him. If I were to go directly for him, I would start on a little bit of an off angle, making it so that I was more prone to overshoot. Yak3 goes for the reversal instead of trying to just go head on with me and try to dogfight me. Not sure why you want to reverse someone. When you got a decent enough position, you just take the head on and do out dogfight me that way. Because I can now just throttle drop you. We go vertical. I'm firmly on your 6. You're way too slow to do anything. And I just shoot you out of the air. And I want you to pay very close attention to the chat. Because our friend just now decided that it was not his mistake that he just died. Just a second... Just a second. Attacking. This really felt like it was a lot quicker when I was in game. And there it is. He says it was packet loss. And I can understand you got outturned by a mosquito. Because you screwed it up. You went to, into a corkscrew and that's not something that happens because you have packet loss. Your plane doesn't start doing coherent maneuvers when you get packet loss. When you get packet loss your plane either flies straight, flies into the ground. It does something wonky. So just do yourself a favor. Admit you fucked up. And don't do it again. Like you don't have to blame the game for it. Just blame yourself. And don't do it again. Much better in the long run. P29. K. Coming for me. Misses a shot. He's a lot faster than me. But I still want to bleed a little bit of more speed than him. Because he just turns that much better than me. And by bleeding some speed. What happens is that I can cut inside of your loop. Even if your two turning circles are the same size. If you're a little bit slower. He will pass in front of you. And that's just the nature of dogfights. Of course going slower than the enemy. Makes it so that he can maybe stall you out. But you know, that's not really a problem in this plane. Because they will do that regardless. You know, you don't have the best energy to begin with. So losing it a little bit more to maybe get a shot in might benefit you in the long run. And this guy really likes to just fly back into my guns. He did it about three times. 
last time I'm just gonna start spraying. He meets my hispanos and he bursts into flames. And now it's a matter of who do I go for. There's five guys on the left, or three guys on the left, and there's an LA-5 right in front of me. This guy is engaging AI, which makes it so that it's pretty easy to just catch him off guard, maybe shoot him down. But then I realize Spitfire is going for him. This guy is diving on him as well, so I'm just going to leave this guy alone and go for the three guys over there and help my teammate out. Because they don't need help 2v1ing this guy on the deck. I'll make it a 1v1 because one of them just crashed. But the Spitfires should still easily be able to kill an LA-5 that's pretty slow and mostly occupied with killing AI. So instead I'm just going to go help this Spitfire out and see what I can do. Got a BF-110 and two BF-109s. BF-110 isn't much of a tr problem to me. So I'm just going to ignore him. If he wants to pitch up to go for me, he's going to get a very easy shot. And with him I mean my Spitfire is going to get a very easy shot because he is now stalling in his guns. LA-5 goes down, just as expected. Shoot a sh some rounds on the 109F. It's an F4. Don't really like seeing that thing. So what do I do? I go into a little bit of a corkscrew. But I just have that much more energy. He, do he can try to follow me here. He doesn't. He goes to the Spitfire, making it a 2v1 again because the Spitfire was completely out of his way. He didn't have enough energy. He ignores me, probably because I'm in a Mosquito. And I shoot him out of the air as well. And now we have two guys left who both are on the runway. It's a two-man squad. They both be on the 9 E's. And it's just a matter of waiting. Just checking if they know what the, what the mechanics are. If they know how to abuse the airfield. Hoping they don't. Most people do, unfortunately. And then they leave. So I'm like, well, that's it, GG. And then they spawn back in, just checking if they actually left. And there they are. I'm gonna go back to normal speed in just a second here. And there we are. So two BF109s. Flying pretty close together, but I'm going 570 kph, which is more than enough. And I go for the guy on the left. And why do I go for the guy on the left? He's in the back. So if I engage him, the other guy has to do a 180 to engage me. He gets a hit on me with his uh, Mauser guns, it's 8mm, and even though this thing doesn't really like taking damage, the Mausers luckily don't do that much. So I kill the first guy in the head-on, and then I go on to the next guy. He's pretty low on energy, he's an E4, so I do have to be wary of those 20 mils. They have the same shells as the MG-151s, just a little bit lower fire rate, and of course way less ammo. He only has 60 rounds per gun of those, and then he only has the two 8mm like his friend. I get on the 6, the X3 misses, just get a few hits in, pretty unfortunate, but now it's a 2v1. So I'm just gonna cut my troll a little bit, jump some speed, drop these flaps, rip the flaps off. He's starting to go vertical, but the Yak3 just beats me to the kill, just before I get it. And that's it. I was gonna say come on man to the Yak3, but he didn't do anything wrong, he just helped me out. I'm in a Mosquito, he sees me dogfighting a 109, he probably wants to kill and already have 4, so I have nothing to complain about, but in the heat of the moment, I almost complained about it. But there you have it. That's the Mosquito, not the 1 to 57, because I'm not flying that one. And that's all I have for you today. Hope you enjoyed it, and see you all very soon again.